Google stock, is it time to buy? On today's episode, I want to take a closer look at three reasons to be bullish on this advertisement giant. I try to put out a daily poll to see what you, the viewers, want to see for the next episode. And today's winner was three reasons to be bullish for Google. So let's get started. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. And make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. All right, so Alphabet, aka Google, traded under the NASDAQ as ticker GOOGL or GOOGL. OOG. We can see right now sitting at $96.15. And unfortunately, year to date, like most of the stocks, it is down roughly 33.6%. Uh, I do want to say I am a shareholder of Alphabet and there's numerous reasons to be bullish. So let's start off with point number one. All right. So the first reason to be bullish on Alphabet, in my opinion, is their financial strength. If we take a closer look at revenue in the trailing 12 months, it's roughly $282 billion. And remember, we are in a time with um, kind of consumer market weakness. So the advertisement market usually sees a slowdown during this time. And regardless, we still see a nice strength in total revenue. Next, if we take a closer look at their cash and short term investments, this is a company that has roughly $116 billion there. So no worries of this company ever, ever kind of going bankrupt or anything near like that. This would be one of those stocks that is in my portfolio and I would never, ever lose sleep out of. Next, if we take a closer look at cash from operations in only 12 months, it's sitting at $92.8 billion, a nice amount. This is a cash flow machine. Some people might be saying, hey, Jose, a, a big risk here is this is a company that has a lot of employees, so the stock-based compensation might be a good portion uh, of the company's kind of total revenue. We can see cash flow, um, stock-based compensation in only 12 months is roughly $18 billion. So even if you discount that from the cash flow from operations, cash flow will still be roughly $75 billion a year, which in my opinion is pretty, pretty impressive. Finally, if we take a closer look at total long-term debt, roughly $13 billion. So in my opinion, financial strength is one of the biggest reasons to be bullish uh, for Alphabet, aka Google. Kind of staying here with the financial strength, another point I want to make here would be just the overall valuation. If we take a closer look at Google's forward PE ratio sitting at around 20, when you compare it to other kind of tech giants like Microsoft, which is sitting closer to 27. Obviously not the same market, not the same company, but it just kind of shows us, hey, how does this compare to another tech giant? I do believe Google does provide a little bit more peace of mind in the valuation, um, in the valuation thought process. But it's also one that it gets affected a lot more with the consumer. Like I mentioned, that advertisement spending. And there's always that risk that we are seeing with all these privacy acts happening globally uh, and on these antitrust uh, laws that are happening. So there's obviously that added risk for Google, but overall financials and valuations is my number one reason uh, to be bullish. Now let's take a closer look at reason number two. But before we go there, if you are enjoying the episode, make sure to hit the thumbs up as it does help me grow my overall audience. If you want to support a little bit more, make sure to subscribe using my link at fool.com slash Jose. Finally, if you are here, it might not be exactly, but I do have a semiconductor week weekly podcast, the number one semiconductor podcast, weekly episodes, uh, a great co-host as well. So make sure to subscribe. The link to that channel is above or should be on the pinned comment. All right. So the second reason I want to say is their Google Cloud, right? So Google Cloud is still a small portion of this company's total revenue. We can see in the most recent quarter, it was roughly $6.9 billion out of the $69 billion. So around 10% of total revenue comes from Google Cloud. This is a segment that is growing dramatically. Same time last year was roughly $5 billion. So that's a strong double digit growth. Google Cloud, even though it's not profitable, they are expanding their features. And a, a great way, for example, is this is a company developing their own chips to make their Google Cloud services better than some of its competitors. Uh, we see a lot of the other cloud companies also do the same. For those not familiar, Google on October teamed up with Intel to kind of create a new IPU unit, which is called an infrastructure processing unit to kind of help with their uh, with their clouding solutions. They have also developing kind of liquid cool boards for their new 10 TPUs. Liquid Liquid cool chips is becoming a very popular thing in the data center market. These chips run hot and we need to find ways to kind of keep them cool. We can see Google Alphabet is doing that uh, with this liquid cool boards. Finally, their version four of their TPU is they're they're talking great about it. Obviously, it's first party data, uh, but they mentioned how their TPU is help them 
do faster loads at a cheaper price compared to other alternatives. Uh, so Google Cloud is definitely, definitely kind of making strides here uh, to increase their overall technological improvement. If you kind of go to their website on Google Cloud Press Corner, they share a lot of kind of partnerships that they're working with, a lot of markets that are entering or using their Google Cloud. And it's kind of updated, I want to say, on a weekly basis with new partnerships. So definitely check that out. Next, we also see that Google Cloud made an acquisition of Mandiant. Uh, Mandiant is a recognized leader in dynamic cyber defense. So we can see how Google Cloud is just increasing its overall solutions. Finally, if we take a closer look at market share, we can see this information from Synergy Research Group. The cloud infrastructure service market number three is Google with 11%. We can see compared to about uh, a year ago or a, a few quarters ago, Google Cloud is actually growing. It was 10% in quarter one of 2022. Uh, so overall, even though it's not profitable, right now i do believe right now is a great time for them to continue to grab market share they are improving their solutions increasing their technology here to continue to grab that market so the second reason in my opinion has to be google cloud now the third reason and i want to say this is the bread and butter for the company is their advertisement solution we can see google service totals uh, google advertisement made up roughly 55 billion dollars in the most recent quarter out of that 69 billion uh, for total revenue so we can see this is heavily heavily dependent in the advertisement market like i mentioned the ad business right now is taking quite a hit ad spending dollars is decreasing as the overall consumer market might not be as strong but i want to say this is more short-term pain right it's not that long-term pain when the market picks back up we are going to see that wallet increasing in ad spending we have a lot of great information here first we can take a closer look at this information from insider intelligence the top five major digital ad companies in 2022 Number one is Google with $168 billion. Number two comes in with Meta at $112 billion. So we can see the huge market share difference. The next thing I want to say is here in Insider Intelligence, they do share that they expect the digital ad spending to increase dramatically every single year. Uh, so obviously, this might have not taken uh, account of uh, recession or whatever we're seeing right now or a slowdown in consumer growth, but it kind of just shows you the overall trend, this trend here that when the market returns, we should expect digital ad spending to continue to increase. And obviously, a great winner there would be uh, Alphabet because they are the market share leader. Um, finally, I do want to say within the advertisement space, I, YouTube is another important, strong product for them. Here on September 2022, this is a Nielsen company report that YouTube makes, out eight, makes up 8% 8 of total TV um, Snapchat time. So in my opinion, YouTube, the growth option our opportunity there is insane and then if we take a closer look youtube is definitely making big moves with youtube shorts adding a lot of new solutions there for monetization like shopping features uh and other kind of uh, monetization plans so the advertisements market for youtube and for alphabet as a goal is still pretty pretty impressive so these are the three reasons i believe it's important to be bullish on google let me know if you have another reason and let me know in the comments below what are some reasons you might be bearish on this stock so take care have a good day and see you next time